try to imagine losing everything you have in the world. It takes a lot of work to replace all that stuff, but step by step, we've managed to do it for a young husband and his wife and their six little children. It was exactly three weeks ago today that Brian and Shannon Sandberg watched in horror as they lost everything they own in this world to a fast-moving fire. We were thought we were going to have to sleep in the car and go to shelters. But just days later, we at the Call for Action team presented Brian and Shannon with the ultimate gift, the keys to a brand new home all their own. We're not giving you a place to live in for a few months. We are giving you this house. Oh, wow. This is your house. There was just one thing we forgot, oh, the furniture. The Sandbergs had a new home, but nothing to put in it. You, you got basically nothing in there right now, right? No. Yeah, you got a few clothes in that in there that people have given, but that's all that's in there right now, yeah. So today, we set out to fix that problem once and for all. These bags here. Yes, this morning, with help from a whole team of hardworking volunteers, we started collecting used furniture, packing it up, and moving it through three different Michigan counties to provide Brian and Shannon and all of their six children with everything they'll need to build a new life. Things like televisions, a dining room table, dressers and drawers, a new stove and oven, even a brand new kitchen island. Items we gathered at three different stops. So many household items, in fact, we had trouble packing it all into our small truck. There, now push that back. There you go. It was a lot of work, but we worked quickly. Right, is that, do we have everything? Oh, well, we have everything as far as I know, yeah, sure. Okay, stop, this is just stop one. Look what we got. Check this out. Next stop, Lake Orion, Michigan, to the home of a firefighter who's donating a ton of nice furniture, including this all-wood entertainment center. Okay, we just finished at stop number what you got? Two. two. Number two, and look what we've got already. We're filling this truck up really fast. And finally, stop number three, the home of a Rochester Hills couple who's donating this beautiful rocking chair, a television set, and a whole lot more. And now we have just finished at stop number three. three. Take a look at what we got. The truck is full, and we are ready to deliver. At last, we arrive at Brian and Shannon's home in Detroit to deliver the good news and everything we've collected. We have an entire house full of new furniture wow. for you, new stove, Televisions, um, cabinets, uh, dressers and drawers, tables, wow. chairs. What yeah. uh, What do you think about that? It's wonderful. <laughs> it's a lot better than a hotel right now. Yeah. Yes, it's wonderful. I want to check, thank Channel Seven, Seven and the Call for Action, action Team. team yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I've got some people I want to thank, too, because we worked on this all day long since about 8 o'clock this morning. I want to thank especially Michelle Z and her husband, Matthew, and the entire team of real estate folks over at Real Estate One in Troy, our volunteers, and there were about 10 of them who helped us move from place to place to place today. It was a that was pretty remarkable. busy day. You got to be winded because you were all over Metro Detroit I didn't have today. Time to doing change that. clothes either. Well, so, you look you know, good. You look good. All right. Well done, as always, Bill.